In Chapter 6 of, Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude, by Napoleon Hill and W. Clement Stone. The authors tackle the critical topic of fear and its impact on achieving success. This chapter provides valuable insights, real-life examples, and actionable steps to help individuals overcome fear and move confidently toward their goals. Principle 1. The Nature of Fear. Hill and Stone begin by dissecting the nature of fear. They explain that fear is a natural emotion but often becomes a significant obstacle to success. When it is allowed to dominate one's thoughts and actions. Example. Think about a time when fear held you back from pursuing a goal or taking a necessary step. It's common for people to fear failure, rejection, or the unknown. Action Step 1. Identify your fears. Take time to identify specific fears that may be hindering your progress. Write them down and acknowledge their existence. This is the first step in confronting and overcoming fear. Principle 2. Fear as a state of mind. Hill and Stone introduce the idea that fear is primarily a state of mind. They emphasize that individuals have the power to control their thoughts and attitudes, thereby reducing the impact of fear. Example. Consider two people facing the same challenging situation. One person approaches it with confidence and a positive attitude, while the other is consumed by fear and doubt. The first person is more likely to overcome the challenge. Action Step 2. Shift your mental state. When fear creeps in, consciously shift your mental state. Replace fearful thoughts with positive affirmations or thoughts of courage. Remind yourself of past successes to boost your confidence. Principle 3. The Power of Courage. The authors highlight the importance of courage in overcoming fear. They explain that courage is not the absence of fear but the ability to act despite fear. Example. Think of historical figures like Rosa Parks, who had the courage to stand up against injustice, even in the face of fear and adversity. Action Step 3. Act Courageously. Practice acting courageously in small ways. Challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone regularly. With each courageous action, you weaken the grip of fear. Principle 4. Fear of Criticism. Hill and Stone discuss the fear of criticism as a common source of anxiety. They stress that individuals who fear criticism often hesitate to express their true selves or pursue their goals. Example. Consider how the fear of criticism might deter someone from pursuing a career in the arts. Because they worry about what others will think of their creative work. Action Step 4. Embrace Self-Expression. Recognize that criticism is inevitable, but it doesn't define your worth or potential. Embrace self-expression and your unique abilities. Focus on your goals and passions, rather than seeking approval from others. Principle 5. Fear of Poverty. The authors address the fear of poverty as another common fear that can paralyze individuals. They explain that this fear often leads to indecision and missed opportunities. Example. Imagine someone who is offered an opportunity to invest in a business but hesitates due to the fear of losing money. This fear of poverty can prevent them from building wealth. Action Step 5. Educate Yourself. Combat the fear of poverty by educating yourself about financial matters and investment opportunities. Knowledge and informed decisions can reduce the fear of financial insecurity. Conclusion, Overcoming Fear and Pursuing Success. Chapter 6 underscores the critical role of overcoming fear in achieving success. By understanding the nature of fear, shifting your mental state, embracing courage, and confronting common fears such as criticism and poverty, you can take proactive steps to move forward confidently. Fear is a natural emotion, but it should not be allowed to control your actions and decisions. As Hill and Stone suggest, you have the power to confront and conquer fear, ultimately opening the door to greater opportunities and success.